Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully you guys have a great exceptional day. Today's word of the day is Mandasius. Stands for a Mandasius person is one who tells lies habitually and intentionally. Don't get stuck at the water cooler or bus stop next to someone you consider Mandasius. Now, um, you see more and more people who are considered to be Mandasius in today's world because of one specific reason. And that reason is social media. Social media can allow people to have a lifestyle that they don't truly live. They can show people having a lifestyle that they have a, a different name. They can claim to be, if they look a specific way, they can be claimed to be a different race of different spirituality or religion. You can claim darn near to be anything. And then, of course, you have those that never show their faces. Um, so they can pretend to be who they want to be. You know, the land of make-believe is bigger and bigger than ever it ever has been in history in the world because of social media. Like I said, social media, I love it. It has good things and bad things about it. Every, but everything in this life has good things and bad things, you know, even life in itself, because life has the end. So that's the bad part. But anyways, um, when it boils down to it, be who you are. I know with all these beautiful filters, I mean, hey, I got a background I'm sitting in my office slash bedroom right now, but I'm dressed up right now. It's because I was I went to work today. But be who you are. Um, you know, usually you see me. I got my sunglasses on my hat on the T-shirt, maybe a collar shirt. But um, be who you are. And be everything that you, you know, it's like the saying of the United States Army. They say, be all you can be. And I think when it comes to life, everybody needs to be all they can be. You know, be who you are, you know, and be proud of who you are. As long as you're not a pedophile and a rapist and a serial killer. I'm just talking about regular everyday people, whether you're rich, middle class or poor. Be who you are. Express who you are in the way that you was meant to express. You know, it's like nowadays more, more people have a thousand piercings, um, tattoos and people everybody wants has the multicolor hair if that's who you are then that's who you are you know me hey i i always try to be a clean cut person um as being a grown man i keep the head bald i try to keep my um my appearance at least to be somewhat decent only time you're only really going to see me looking raggedy is when i'm in my lounging clothes in the house or when i go to the gym but even then i like to look clean but after i'm done working out and i'm sweating and I'm exhausted, and yeah, I'm going to look a little raggedy. But that's, you know, usually my mindset is, hey, unless I have to stop anywhere, go home, get showered, get clean, and do what you got to do. But that's who I am. Doesn't mean everybody else has to be like that. I remember saw a guy at work uh, years ago. He looked like he was going to the club and about to sip on Hennessy, you know, And but that's who he was. And you know what? Like I said, be, be all that you can be in this life because life is too short and precarious at the end of the day. Um... Today's quote of the day is by Ice Cube. He says, doing it your own way, not having to go exactly by the book to be successful. And I mean, let's be realistic. The most successful people on this planet are the ones who did it their own way. You know, the re I always go back to the people who are the quote unquote, the billionaires, the millionaires now. And they either were college graduate, uh, college dropouts or they didn't drop out of college or they didn't go to college at all because they had they knew that the structured way of doing things was the old way. I mean, whether you like or or just like Bill Gates is irrelevant with this example I'm about to provide. But when you look at Bill Gates' story, it's like, hey, he was, in a, at first he was like, hey, he was creating something that was needed in government and in corporate America. So his whole thing was, I want to get paid. You know, Steve Jobs, you know, because the generation before him was like, well, hey, this isn't about getting paid. This is about doing research and, and for the betterment of society. And he's like, yeah, I'm all for that, but I want to get paid to do that all, all at the same time. And that's why he's living a lifestyle of luxury. So because he did it his way, all right? So um, there's an old song, you know, I, I want to do things my way, my way or the highway. And sometimes that's just the way the game needs to go because in order for you to live your best life, um, to quote Lil Duval, uh, the only way you're going to be really truly living your best life is for you to go at it uh, your way, whether it's easy or hard, you know, be like it's got to be like the old saying of Burger King. It's got to be your way. Because you're paying for it. So on that note, do the great deep things like share and subscribe. Have a great day. Make money moves, or you're gonna live like a fool. Take care.